Burke's Restaurant in Santa Clara. They are known for being a South Bay institution. Since 1989, plate after heaping plate has been served up to a pretty discriminating crowd. And no matter how full they are, most leave room for dessert. Desserts that are almost too pretty to eat. Almost. Here we have the um, orange cream sickle flavor, I flavored ice cream. It sits on a carved out half of a navel orange. So here is our desserts for our VIP table. Special guests, of course. Chef Maurice Desels believes in keeping the menu as unique as possible. And for his desserts, he relies on a local girl done good, Sherry Tate. She brought a sample of her, her ice cream and sorbets, and as they say, the rest was history. It comes as no surprise, really, that ice cream has been called the great American dessert for a reason. Each American consumes an average of 23 quarts of ice cream, ice milk, sherbet, and other commercially processed frozen dairy products a year. But even the great American dessert can get a makeover every now and then. And that's where Sherry Tate comes in. She came up with an idea to combine two of her favorite dessert staples, ice cream and liqueur. As a kid, my parents made liqueur-infused ice cream with their friends. So they made something called grasshoppers, where, which is similar to the cream de mint we made today. And it was a blended ice cream drink with cream de mint liqueur. And I think that's probably where I got the idea. So Sherry left her desk job in the Silicon Valley to pursue her dessert dream. And thus, Silver Moon Ice Cream was created. It is the first artisan liqueur infused ice cream and sorbet company on the market. She now has 18 flavors, from orange creamsicle made with bitter orange, to coffee with brownie bits made with coffee liqueur, to praline and Irish cream. And no matter what flavor you pick, they are all equally unique and delicious here, and each one starts out the same. We sample a lot of things, but usually I'm inspired by either a popular drink. So for example, our pomegranate martini is a, or the mojito ice, those are pretty popular drinks in, in bars. And then I'll try to emulate something like that in a frozen dessert. Okay, so we are in, what is this, a big liquor cabinet to me, right? <laughs> what is this? Well, this is our ingredient storage room, but yes, this is uh, where all the magic happens for Silver Moon. Mm -hmm. um, these are all the liquors that we infuse our product with. And wow. these are really the secret sauce of Silver Moon. <laughs> <laughs> the secret ingredients, exactly. right? Exactly. So this is a strawberry daiquiri. It's about half frozen right now, and we'll just do a little interim um, taste test here. It tastes good to me. But besides a well-stocked liquor cabinet, Sherry has another secret ingredient to her frozen treat, California-produced milk. She only uses premium milk with a high butter fat that is so rich and creamy you can taste it in every bite. And for that, she relies on the hundreds of dairy farms that call California home. One of those farms is the Giacomozzi family dairy in Hanford. For more than a hundred years now, they've taken care of the land and the countless number of dairy cows they've had on the farm, all in an effort to supply healthy, wholesome milk to people across the nation. It is my responsibility as a dairy farmer to not only produce a very uh, high quality product uh, that has amazing nutritional value, but also to do it in a responsible way. We look at these animals as part of our family in addition to being part of our business. And so our values require us to treat them with respect and, and make sure they're taken care of. In addition to caring for his animals, Dino has won numerous environmental awards for his conservation efforts at the farm. He says for him, being a dairy farmer isn't a job or a career, it's a lifestyle. And as a multi-generational dairy farmer, it's a lifestyle he hopes to continue well into the future. Well, I think I have a, a somewhat of a responsibility to my family's legacy. You know, I'm, I'm the fourth generation and, uh, and we've been doing this now 117 years in the same place and, you know, I'm not going to be the one to, to blow it, right? I mean, I have to, I have to at least make it work 
and make it available to my son if he decides he wants to do that. And while Dino's son is a little too young to enjoy this ice cream, don't worry folks, he's only scooping it here, others are over the moon for this new premium ice cream. It's like mixing the two best things in the world together in one. The Golden State produces more milk, butter, and ice cream than any state in the nation. And since it's also a leader in both farming and innovative artisan foods, it looks like these two might just have a spirited partnership for years to come.